Misfits. Welcome to our recap of night three of Gen Con. This is about the time where we start drilling on ourselves and start muttering and speaking in tongues. I'm pretty sure we're about there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Dip, dip, dip. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kiss you, you beautiful man. No, not really. I mean, you might, have, might give me something. Anyway, uh, so. Give you a punch in the nose. Uh, oh, give oh, you. Oh, oh, you. So, as you can tell, we're a little delirious right now. Or just very, very delirious. Oh, um, yeah. You looking for something? No. Okay. Anyways, um, so back to Gen Con wrap up day three. We uh, had a really good day. Um, it was a little lighter on the interviews today, um, but, uh, but we the have place a... was an absolute freaking nightmare. It was, it was, yeah, it was definitely the Saturday they was the out. worst day, and whoa, <clears throat> was it a nightmare? Yeah, it was, it was very packed, needless to say. It was tough to get around. Um, we did some awesome interviews, though, to talk to some awesome people, as always. That we, you know, we took it. I think I would say I want to take it a little lighter today. We tried to take it a little easier. We were kind of wiped. Um, so we didn't, we didn't, we not... did talk to a lot of people. I think, uh, we definitely talked to a lot of people that we have done games with before. Oh yeah. Who yeah. have stuff in process yeah. that will get to us in a couple of months or so. Yeah, that was, that was kind of actually, you know, the funny thing is that was really the theme of Gen Con this year. It was, and I, and I said this at the beginning, there wasn't anything really out that was like, I mean, there was some good stuff, but there wasn't anything that was like. You know, brand new hotness. Yeah, brand new. Like everybody's blowing up the world about it. It was kind of felt. I mean, there was a ton of stuff there, and there were some cool things, but there wasn't anything that was like blowing up the world. And everything that was was like not out yet. It was like there was so many things we talked to people, and it's like it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Yeah, it's check, be here's, out. Our, here's, here's our here's our product type. Here's our you know. Blah, 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 blah. So I mean, it was kind of like the, I was almost feel like we were mid production cycle or something on games. It was really kind of funny. yeah. Maybe China was a little late on a lot of things. I know maybe. I know Ivy Studio wanted Moon Rollers there and it didn't yeah. make it on the boat. Yeah. They wanted more uh, uh, Mythic Mischief, the Volume Two of yeah. it. Maybe it's just because didn't make it on the boat. Maybe it's just the, our favorite people. Maybe we're just because we tend to so we uh, you know as we do this you know we tend to pick up favorites as you know we would as like you do yeah as you do. And like all the people that we like that that we hit is like a lot of their stuff's in production still or we're waiting on. So it's like, you know. But what was nice is that we found a few people today that we didn't know. Yeah. That had some interesting yeah. stuff. Yeah. A couple of things right here. And we um we did an interview actually with them last year, I believe, but Meeple Mania Games, they're trying to um change the mold of dexterity games a little bit and give them a little bit more um depth. Um and I was pleasantly surprised and I can see it's definitely kind of swapping these back and forth because it just it did just looked a lot of fun. Spaceborn, we did an interview. Yeah, with. this this one here is a de dexterity and, game. They gave us a this is a prototype actually. Yeah, oh, and, yeah, it is a prototype. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to do a pre review on it mm -hmm. and all that. They've get, given us the expansion for it already. Yeah, yeah. And so we are this expansion here, and we are going to be uh you know doing some serious videos about oh, yeah. it. But, but it's, a, it's, 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 it's not out yet. It's, 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 it, it, it hasn't it, gone to production yet. Oh, that's right. It hasn't gone to production. That's right. Yeah, it's funny, though, because he has it all sealed up and it looks really pretty. Oh, yeah. Um, but, there was a lot of there was a lot of prototypes that looked really, really beautiful, but you can always get the giveaway is when you look at the back and it's all blank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is a clue. Yeah, that is a clue. Um, but, yeah, but the... They, but their they, first one, Table Golf Association, we did a couple of... A couple of uh, Dice towers ago. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a couple of dice towers ago. It was very popular. I just they're they're they're, they're, they're that kind of got them going, and they did this, and they actually built a game. So most decks games are kind of very easy to play. They don't take very long, and and it's just very. It, it really relies on if you're good at flicking things or popping things, or whatever. But they added game depth to this. So like this game, and they said it takes ninety minutes to play, which is creep. Somebody's at the door. That's our game delivery. We yeah, ordered games. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, I was, I was like almost. That was just weird timing. Anyway, so um, but they added that it was ninety minutes of game time for this, which like, how do you do that in a dex game? We'll watch our video and you'll see. Um, there's a lot of depth and strategy to a game that has dexterity as your pre uh, predominant um action in the game. Yeah, dexterity, but there's you know you've got to deal with pirates over here and you got to explore over here and you got to yeah. make sure that 
you can't find give it all this away. And it, watch, no, but watch yeah, the video. it's just yeah, watch there's the a video. lot to it. It's not yeah. like hey, I got to flick something in a hole. You know? Yeah, no, no. There's there's a lot going on in the game, and it was really really cool, and I was very impressed by um by by what I saw. And then and then they uh, we had, didn't um haven't gotten a chance to look at table golf. We saw it and we liked it, but we uh, we hadn't gotten a copy yet. So we're definitely gonna play that. I was I was actually really I actually really like the look of that one just because I I like flicky games and I like little marbles. It reminds me of those old past games. I remember those old. Uh, you know, when they didn't have much to do to make board games back in the day at Monopoly and the Dexterity games is always a marble in a little circle. And you flicked it on a board for some reason. Dexterity games, Dexterity games are coming back, too, because Restoration has crossbow and catapults. And we did... Is that uh, really a Dexterity game? I yes, guess it is. It kind of, sort of, yeah. I never yeah, classified it as that. Aiming, it. Just aiming at all. Uh, and while we're over there, I stumbled upon this uh, game, Outrun the Bear. Um, I was just looking around. And actually, it was like we saw a lot of your games at the indie booth. The indie, indie, yeah, uh, the indie booth. alliance booth. They've got, yeah. they've got lots. Of and games this game cracked me up because I'm like, is this really like? So you're out running the bear. I'm like, so what do you? It's like you're tripping your friends. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, here's the card. Trip your friends. I'm like, what? I'm like, that's the hold. I, it's like you heard the brake screech. I'm like, okay, no, we're we're gonna do this. They're gonna talk to me you now, and you're gonna tell me about this game because I'm like, any game where you're out running your out running a bear and you're tripping your friends to get eaten is is amazing. So um, I talked to him about it, and it's exactly what you think it is. Yeah, you you and your friends are running from a bear that moves up the board, and you can either win by getting to the car and getting safe, or you can feed the bear, you know, because you want to feed the bear. Yeah, of course, your friends and family, yeah. And if you feed the bear enough, the bear stops and, and you win the game. So um, it was a clever concept, and his next concept was a deck builder, a social deck builder, which I thought was also very cool. So. I like the guy. I'm sure just, we'll have more from them in the future. Yeah. When we picked up a couple of cool RPG books, um, one of which I'm probably going to be struggling. I'm be like, oh, let me borrow a good. We'll be going back and forth then because I like the dark where you die theme or whatever. It's yeah, like well, alien. you got the Dark Tower one. Yeah. We're, that's in your wheelhouse. That's in my wheelhouse. You're not wrong. Um, but yeah, I love, I, love, I love dark themes where you're just playing a human and everything is horrible around you and you might not survive this session. That I really, 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 really like because isn't I, that where we are right now? Yes, I okay. mean it's kind of real lifey, except there's more horror, even more horror things because you either yeah, have an alien, things, yeah. you either have an alien ripping your skull out, or in this case, you have monsters, or you're transforming into monsters, and you might not survive the session. So it's a little more deadlier than real life, I, I think. Maybe a little, little bit, a little bit more. Um, but speaking about something less fun. deadly, what we got the decorum expansion. Oh yeah, yeah. they're moving out now. And so I I don't know how this expansion works, but it has bubble wrap. Okay. Yeah, there's bubble wrap. There's literally bubble, bubble wrap. wrap is a game mechanic. So yeah. So that's that's really cute. That's anything really cute. with bubble wrap is a game mechanic. I can oh, get yeah. behind. Oh yeah. And then we you know we this granted this uh, pile of games here and stuff isn't just everybody we talked to because we talked to a lot of people. No, we did we did a lot more. We got stuff yeah. from Odiphius. They talking. told me about the new Star Trek game and the new uh, Lower Decks game. He had a prototype of Lower Decks game. Yeah, it, it it's oh, a fun it little push your luck RPG. No, it's well they already had the Lower Decks RPG. Oh, out. that's right. Yeah, that was last con. Yeah, which I love reading that book. It's funny. Yeah. It is funny all day long. If yeah. you like the Lower Decks, it was brilliant. But they have a Lower Decks card game, and oh. it's kind of, it, it's. The whole point is you're trying you're trying to pull cards, and and uh, you're trying to take the most of your leisure time, and <laughs> and if you find officers, you get two. It's press your luck. Yeah. So you're trying to do a mission, and let's say you're trying to get twelve uh, uh, cocktail points because it's like the little the little martini glass, right, 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 you, right, and right. so you're trying to get those. But if you pull an officer. If you pull three officers, you fail, and then they make you do work, and you got to go scrub the dilithium chambers or something. I've got a full expansion or, or deal on it, and I'll probably link it up here. So, Modifius is them. doing board board games now, or it's a, it was a card game, but they've board done board games. games. They're, they're granted they lean heavy into role playing games, yeah, but, say, but they have some board games, games and tabletop games. Like their tabletop games are really good. They've got they got that uh, Fallout tabletop skirmish game, which is crazy good. Oh yeah, well yeah, yeah I mean yeah. crazy good. Those figs, yeah. And and now that now that Fallout's gotten so popular, they're just it's people were stuff. just pulling them off the shelf. And yeah, buying peeling them. them off. Yeah, it was it was going like crazy. There, there was there was some uh, other games I was I didn't notice before, but I was surprised by now. And there was some genre ones I didn't notice. Like there was a Star Trek game, it was like Captain's Chair or something or something like that. It looked cool. Yeah, that's we're uh, interviewing Wiz Kids about it tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. 
Um, and uh, there was a Mandalorian game I never even heard of. It was like Mandalorian Adventures. Yeah, I saw I Mandalorian like, Adventures, and yeah. then there's uh, we we got Bounty Hunters, which they were pushing heavy. It's a card game. Yeah, we bought that. And we got that, yeah, up in Sarasota. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We but, bought that ourselves. And that just came out a couple weeks ago. Couple, yeah, it was. And then time. now they've got uh, Mandalorian Adventures, and it's from uh, Asmodee. Yeah. It's I, don't know, I don't know which. Or the Flat River Group. No, it was Asmodee. Was it? Because I got the Star Wars board game license. Oh, I guess so. That's so uh, it's, it's by them, but I don't know. It wasn't Fantasy Flight. So and I thought Fantasy Flight was handling most of the yeah, board game yeah. tie-ins, but it wasn't them. So what are their other production houses did it? And yeah. I happened to see it on a table and didn't get a chance to really look at it. We try and we try to like as many as we can. It's just so hard to get through the crowds and everything that it's like, you know, it's really, really hard to bounce around. But we're gonna hit up some yeah, fun tomorrow. Today it was and... so busy, it was like yeah, you couldn't get more than five minutes with anybody. Yeah. But yeah. it was nice that we got a lot of people who want to tell us about more of their games, yeah. but it's like, we'll get to you Sunday. Yeah. So we, we've yeah, got a rather busy day Sunday and you're, you're out to go to the airport halfway, halfway through. Halfway through. Yeah. So most of us. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. I forgot. Uh, Another space Sky, game. Yeah. Uh, Skyrise. Yeah. Which I might, oh, I might, I might, oh, yeah. I you, might you want tomorrow. That. I want that back. Yeah, he, really he got fun. a whole, Board game chubby about the I whole did. Thing. It was I just, did. he was like, it was. Oh, no, I just loved oh, it. It was, it was, that's the game that like really, a, 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 a light ray. It really, was, yeah, I really, it really thrilled oh, me. Um, and usually I don't buy really games as much anymore because of what we do, but like, I just loved the look of the game. It was a very well, great it, game. It, it isn't even so much that, too. On top of that, he's, he's I like, it, it, it really hits your spot, but on top of that, they're like, oh, we're going to try to get you, some, you know, pretty soon. And you're like, I can't wait. No, I, I can't. Think, I don't think I, don't, I can wait. I, don't think I, can wait. I, I think I no. need to have one of these in my no. suitcase. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. A, it was. A, okay. So, so Skyrise. It was a really unique game concept. You have uh, these gorgeous mini buildings, and the mini, you know, this big. And basically, the idea is you start bidding from the center. You put the the Skyrises down, and as you play, everybody has a chance to continue the bidding by placing another building next to yours, and all of them have numbers on it, so they have to continue bidding up. And the thing is, you drive where you the bidding kind of goes on the board because wherever you the last bid ends is the spot that they claim on the board and what bonuses they get. But so that was a really, really, really cool concept. I think that was your foundation for the realm. It was really, I really, I really, really, I really think it, it was just, one of those. The minis were cool. The game was cool. You were like, game was you were cool. Like, it was like, I love everything like, about this game. It was hitting. <laughs> it was hitting all the good spots. I was like, you know, it wasn't. But and and sometimes I just like a game that isn't super complicated but that had just enough strategy just to it that and i liked it and i just just everything clicked i really oh really yeah liked you it. were in love skyrise was a really really cool game i really liked it a lot um the question is you know and as always, always with these games if you play it how long is it going to stay in the test of time like is it going to be a game they're going to play a lot you know like uh, like you guys play rome but either way i, I was really could, enchanted i think with you it. could it fit looked, your fit your rome hole in your life I think that's that's a weird thing to say, but I think it's more Dark Tower probably. Dark Tower is one of those games I could probably play forever, even if I lose that at all, like half of the time. But I really love Dark Tower, um, obviously. Speaking of Dark Tower, you got the <laughs> role Oh, and Dark Tower. <laughs> so I ran into somebody who's a friend of uh, Restoration today, and they're doing role books for uh, role playing books based on their properties. So they have Return of Dark Tower uh, role playing book, and they're doing a Thunder Road role playing book. So I can't wait for that. That's, that's gonna, gonna be, be hilarious. That's gonna be interesting. That'll be interesting. Everybody make cars and just you know run each other over. I guess you know. Um, but this is where we come tomorrow. Cryptozoic is, I, I finally got a, um, a, a, a really, really cool person at Cryptozoic. I, th I think he runs it. Well, we, yeah, we ended up, we ended up meeting some of the right people we've been trying to get contacts with, with some yeah. big game companies yeah. that finally got the right people. So yeah. hopefully that will mean that we're going to bring more cool games to you guys. Yes, exactly. And, uh. Listen, we really appreciate all of the publishers we talked to today and those who Oh, and on top of that, we had a team stuff. misfits in the in the Star Wars Unlimited tournament. I think one of them doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, I think I think Tom's forgotten about it already, but he's burning his cards as we speak. Yes. They're on fire in the back of the uh, shot. You can't see it right now, though. Strange, and, strange meta where it's at right now. Really, really strange meta. Uh, yeah, it was all Han and Boba. And a surprise win by Kira and Hondo of all things is making strong showings, which honestly he's actually a fairly strong character. He gives a lot of interesting well, buffs. Like I mean, they, the the game came out a couple weeks ago, so meta is gonna this is gonna be this is gonna be this hot meta this week, and then there's gonna be a hot meta next week. And by the time yeah. we get to 
that to packs you it'll be a completely different meta yeah so the gen con was kind of weird gen con it was very much a quieter i mean even though it was quiet there, it was well let me rephrase it wasn't we weren't losing our like, we, were we weren't losing sardines. we weren't losing our minds like usually we get the gen con we're like oh my god you well, know? we lost our minds yesterday a lot a little bit a little yeah. bit but yeah, and I mean, we're gonna lose our minds tomorrow too probably there's no more con rides too you know there's anything like that we're gonna lose our mind when we if we get any of those uh uh, custom cards or the the uh, oh, convention yeah, cards yeah all those convention cards yeah, no luck so far three days yeah. the website is crashed all three days so yeah and it yeah. sold out in a minute yeah mm -hmm. like a, a it, like under like probably under a minute technically oh, yeah. oh easy but 901 it's like yeah minus it's, 843 it's like really i really i really hate that it's that limited but anyway, we can go on all day about yeah. that. Why don't we wrap it up and get some rest? Huh? Yeah, we need to get some rest. I need to edit some of these videos. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a good time. So, guys, thanks again for watching all our coverage today. Uh, check out. We have some interesting videos up there. We talk about most of this stuff and a lot of things up and coming. Um, anything you want to add? No, I want to go to bed. We want to go to bed. All right, guys. Until uh, you know, until next time, you know, pay attention to John Con coverage and game on.